Could it be love, you know? So let's have a look, you know, because we know when we get inside there, there's no love. There is no love lost in there. There's no love. All right. Again, so amateur C, no headshots standing or on the ground. TQ wearing the tie shot, so we'll see if he's got quite an extensive kicking game. Straight yeah. away opens up with a nice body kick. Yeah. And a spinning back kick. Yep. Yeah. Good work, Tiki's. You know he's definitely working them legs. Caught the single, looking for the. Oh, nice take nice down. Nice little trick. Nice take down. Yeah, Tiki's obviously definitely come here to. Um, he's definitely come here to to make a mark for himself. You can see, you know, straight into it. He came out with that tie kick first of all. You know, we all heard it. Oh, he's getting caught in the. Uh, yeah, arm Tiki. Tiki up. Well, Tiki's in there. He's definitely defending well. Straight Connor, into the guillotine attempt. Good. Connor definitely had that arm bar on, but Tiki, like you say, he's wrapped round his neck. Connor's now in half guard. He's take, got out of the guillotine, looking to pass. Good. Yeah, but it's what's good to see. A good, nice, fiery exchange of techniques at the start of the first round. I think Connor was possibly caught a little bit unawares by the, by the quick start from Tiki, but now he's uh, calmed down, got into the fight. You never know, he might unexperienced fighter he might have just had that bit of adrenaline had a little adrenaline dump at the beginning now he's uh, into side control keeping his weight down nicely and Tiki doesn't have too much for him from the bottom well you know definitely from what little bit I've seen there Connor's definitely got a ground game he's passed again there you know Tiki's showing us yeah that's a nice little technique showing his flexibility there trying to throw that little bit of rubber in there yeah he tried to work the rubber guard but it was passed straight away yeah, you know, Connor's definitely got a ground game, right? He's working at Kimura, he's trying to look for that little bit. It's not there, it's not there. No, no, he's working there, but what you can see, he's definitely distributing his weight. Well, he's managing to keep Tiki where he wants him on his back. Looks like Tiki's trying to stand up here. He's attempt, attempting to uh, tie up Connor, but Connor again establishing side control against Cage. It's a good position, not... Unfortunately, he's let it go. Tiki's reversed well, and now into Connor's guard. Let's see how well, well Connor can work off his back. Yeah, I mean, end, end, end of the day, you can see 
Connor trying to work one of his arms. Won't be surprised if Connor tries to work a bit of an arm bar, you know, or tries to sweep TK. There he goes. He tra just trying to throw that leg up for that little bit of an arm bar attempt, which is basically when you've got the fighter on the bottom trying to work and grab the arm of his opponent, tries to extend his legs and bar his opponent's arm, forcing him into submit. Tiki working the shrugs and the body shots. Very explosive fighter. Very Good. explosive fighter. Good, yeah. And, and he's finding a target as well. He's definitely, he's finding, you know, he's finding the area to work on. But the, yeah, yeah, he's... But you can see at the same very, time, you know, Connor's, Connor's, Connor's got a good ground game. He has. You didn't get... Good first round. Good first round. Okay, here we go, round two. Round one was <laughs> round one were close. There's a lot of action in that round, which is good to see. Tiki uh, finished the round very aggressively. Let's see if he continues that way. Yeah, well, we know he's got the tie kicks in there, without a doubt. Tried a little push kick. Yeah, a little teep kick there, a little push kick he tried there. Nice Threw the knees knee. in. Nice reverse. Nice reverse. But, you know... Connor's shown that he just weathers a storm. You know, he's got a good ground game, as we've seen. You know, I can see himself just working his way out of Tiki's guard. He's, he's caught in the guillotine now, but he's posturing up nicely to take the pressure off the neck. Yeah, he's not. Uh, there's no panic there, right? He's inside there. Eventually, he'll pop his head out, you know. You know, what Tiki wants to be doing is really wants to be getting a foot on the inside and seeing if he can... Just clip one of his legs in and try to sweep him and turn him over. He's maintaining really nice. Tiki from the bottom is maintaining a really nice control. Though. He's, he is, yeah. But all the time, all up. the time he has one arm around that head. That head's got that chance of just popping out. He's, uh, I think Tiki's possibly just going to wait here and hope for a referee stand up. He's not looking to escape from the guard. Not looking for a sweep. He's just content to keep control. Yeah, and ride it out. I mean, that head's just going to pop up. Here it comes. Now he's, he's trying to go to rubber guard, abandon that. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, what he wants to do, if Connor wants to, he doesn't want it standing up. Connor's got to really try, you know, and pass. I, I believe he's got the tools to pass that guard, you know. He's got to get round Tiki's legs. His legs are long, and he's, and he's shown he can hold on to that guard. So, really, you know, Connor really wants to start trying to break out and try and pass and control he has, him. He's passed her half guard now. He's managed to get halfway around. Good stuff. And now into full mount. Good. Good, he wants to start, you know, obviously he wants to start working with that, keeping where he is, he's looking for, to tie that arm up and to try and work him. He's tied one arm up with his leg. Tiki complaining yeah. of uh, a headshot there, but... Yeah, I reckon, be careful, Tiki will come out the back door here, you know, really wants to... Tiki's Connor wants to looking for a knee bar. He wants to turn to him. He wants to try and turn to him here. Good. Connor wants, to Connor wants to turn back round. He really wants to try and get out of that that technique, that bar on his on his knee. He wants to try and turn round to him or push him away with his other foot. I think he's actually going for a calf crank now. Good, there you go. Good, good, good. Tiki turns it round on him. Now Connor's using nice, the very nice, well. Nice, Connor. Very, very good well. technique. He pushes back down to that side control. I definitely give the ground game here to Connor you know not by a long way but enough for us to see that he's got a few more tools in his box when it comes to working on the ground I think Tiki's the more explosive fighter but 
once it gets to the ground, Connor's very good at keeping his weight down, keeping the man in the position that he needs him. Without a doubt. third and final round of a very close fight yep there's been uh, first round was good second round were good you saw them both trying to work techniques on there to try and get the fight to go their way definitely now one of them one the, of them one of them really now wants to try and stamp it down yeah i think the deciding factor might now actually be conditioning yes who, who can keep the pace going for another three minutes yep yep and tiki's starting quick yeah, mm -hmm. nah, it's a nice, it's a nice takedown single leg trip from TK. Just caught Connor's. Oh, he's Connor's got caught leg. in the uh, triangle though. It's not locked up yet. No, he's it's not locked up. But the arm bar, arm bar, trying to work the and arm Tiki's bar on. straight out of that. Yeah, yeah. It, Tiki's got, uh, Tiki's got some freaky speed when it comes to you know scrambling out of techniques without a doubt from the small bit that I've seen of him. I think it, he is an explosive fighter and he's uh, very looks to be very strong for his weight. So yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean even though I would say Connor's got definitely the experience on the ground Tiki's got he's got that sh strength you know that strength where he can just scramble and you know work to a position that a lot of people couldn't do with less experience both fighters sort of uh, stuck in a odd position here yeah I mean ne Con neither Con really no Connor wants to establish his ground ga game get to a position again where he knows he can work from he wants to break out of those legs turn to TK get back in the side control and start working where he works best from I think uh, what Tiki could do now is just release his legs and scoot out and he'll be back to his feet yeah I mean Connor wants to just like he says take his time eventually try and work on one of his legs get his elbow inside one of Tiki's legs and just turn back to him I mean, really, to be quite honest, Paul, it's a bit of an unorthodox position to be working your opponent <laughs> I've from. I've admit, in uh, 10 years of watching MMA, I don't think I've ever seen a position like this held yeah, for so yeah. long. Yeah, yeah, I think it's called, um, you know, the old, uh, it must be the reverse figure four. <laughs> it's, it's definitely an odd one. Yeah. But both fighters working short elbows to very unorthodox positions. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Darren wants, I mean, sorry, Connor, you know, he wants to work. Uh, Wants to turn round, get an elbow inside one of them legs and just turn round and try and turn towards TK. He's got to go inside the legs because obviously the power of Tiki's grip with his feet together, he's just going to keep pushing him back down towards Tiki's the, the definitely mat. Uh, doing some damage with those elbows to the thighs though. Yeah, he's continuing, he, he really is. And as odd a position as it is, He's basically being able to sit there the whole time, throw shots, and he's scoring. Oh, yeah. And Connor isn't. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Regardless of the unorthodox position, you know, he's working from that, you know, and he's scoring in the round. It's burning the round. Yeah, yeah, he's doing what it takes to win the round. 